Greetings, one boy here. I so, so, so wanted to go live today, but I'm having technical difficulties and my computer keeps freezing. So it is kind of old. It may be telling me it's time for a new computer, but I didn't want to come on today. I was hoping to get a little feedback from anybody that might be around for the live. But in any case, if you have questions or comments, then you know to just leave them in the comments section and I do read all of the comments. So I wanted to show you today that I've been working on, let me say this before I go any further. Um, there, sometimes people suggest projects that they would like to make, very specific projects they would like to make. And I know there's at least one person who is interested in loom knitting a, a, a hat with a, a visor. I guess it would be like a hat with a bib. That's what I'm thinking they're talking about. But, or, or maybe they're just talking about a visor and that's open. Um, so here's the thing is that I do not make, don't know how to make um, patterns yet. I can't do, uh, it would take me a really long time and be really tedious for me to try to figure out how to do objects that are constructed with parts and pieces and things that need to go in and things that need to go out. And what I would, I'm feeling like I would have to do is I would have to find someone who has a pattern and then perhaps get permission from that person for me to demonstrate their pattern. So that might happen. In the meantime, I also wanna say that I believe even without a pattern uh, or just with some guidance, I can um, demonstrate how to crochet perhaps a visor, but I'm trying to loom knit it uh, I've, I've been thinking about it and trying to figure out how I would do that and I have had no luck at doing a visor. Um, so I, I feel like it would be easier to crochet that. In fact, if crochet, if you also want to switch it up and maybe crochet some hats and things like that, then we can do that as well. So let me know. Um, one of the things I did want to show though is um, this is a loom knit hat that I made a while back and as you notice as you can see it has a flat top and so what I would like to demonstrate uh, is how to make a hat so that all your hats don't have that ski thing going on where it all goes to a point like that that's how we were I I have demonstrated for you to take your hat off but I would also like to demonstrate how to do a flat hat and I think I'm gonna do that uh, in the in the next coming weeks and also, I'm working on the Afghan or Infinity Loom. And uh, this is my first time using this type of loom. I have a, a baby blanket started here. And there are pros and there are cons. And I think, it's, to me, this loom is something that you either enjoy and you like working on a lot or you don't. Um, the, the good thing, one of the very good things about this loom is that you have the ability to make something really long on something that's this size. Now on these looms, unlike the uh, oblong looms, so it, this has the two rows, see, but you don't go back and forth across the row. You just go around the outside and then you come back in and what you're doing is I'm only working on the outside of one row because I'm making a blanket half the size of what this can make. Um, so you would just go around the outside and then come back on the inside. And what that allows you to do is to make something really large because you can make something twice this size on this loom. Um, in fact, I measured it. You can make something that is 106 inches wide or in centimeters that would be about 269 centimeters and that uh, is something that is well covers a a, a a a regular bed a double bed I think it would cover yeah a real a, a, a regular a ordinary bed <laughs> uh, it, it it would cover that is 106 inches or 269 millicentimeters wide. So you have the ability to make something really wide on this loom, or you can make something really short. You don't have to use the whole loom. So 
this loom allows you to make something that's only like this this wide <laughs> or you can make something that's this wide now um getting started on the loom is pretty much the same as getting started on the regular round loom um and then but what i found is that is very awkward i find it very awkward to work with again everybody has their own you know you may feel differently about it um, but I find it very awkward. I'm also the next video I'm going to do. I'm just going to demonstrate how to get started in case this is something that you want to try. But I found it very awkward to use because where you're using your round loom, for instance, you're used to when you are ready to so you just pick and pick and go, 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 go. But then you're going to get to places where, for instance, when you're working on the inside here, where you can't picked like that so you have to learn how to pull the yarn over um, and I will demonstrate that in the next video but um, so yeah it has this it has its good points and its bad points the other thing that the reason why I don't think after this project I'll use this loom again is because um, for me it defeats the purpose of why I wanted to learn to loom knit and that's because I wanted to be able to take my project with me and work on it if I have to wait in line, wait at a doctor's office, I'm waiting and I have time to pass, that I could work on it. This is a little too big to carry with me or to pull out when I'm, you know, on the bus or whatever and start working on it. So it kind of defeats the purpose for me. I do find it is relaxing to work. Um, it's relaxing and I like doing I like doing the picking and the wrapping and also oh most importantly just like um, on this just like the long loom oh, well when we were okay let me back up just like when we were I was trying to knit a scarf on the round loom and it curled well the same thing will happen here if you don't alternate stitches so what i have here is one row of knit and then one one row of purl so that's what i've done uh, because it was just easier to remember to do one row and of knit and then do another row of purl and go back and forth so that's all i wanted to say about the afghan and or infinity loom and so I think my project is coming along nicely. And let's see what fabric is, what yarn is this? This is, this is Charisma. This is Loops and Threads. And this is Charisma. Yeah, I really like this yarn. I, in fact, you probably have noticed I use this yarn a lot. So that's what this is. I got this at um, Michael's. Okay, so I'm going to leave it right there and hopefully I can get my computer to do right and I can do some lives maybe next week. In the meantime, I am going to dem demonstrate how to get started on this and then we'll make some hats for the winter that are flat top hats and instead of uh, all the ski and also... Um, kind of show you what I did with this one to make some of the rows stand out and some go in okay so we'll I'll do a demonstration of that one all right so I hope you all stay well and I wish all of you the best of everything until next time peace